In this module, we'll discuss what defines a product as a medical device in the eyes of the EU. We'll also go over the importance of proper device classification before moving on to the different classifications and then finally how devices are classified. This page displays an excerpt from the official definition from Article 1, Section 2A of the Medical Devices Directive. The short version, a medical device is something used to diagnose, prevent, monitor, or alleviate a disease. One of the first steps in the registration process is device classification. The classification of your product lays the groundwork and determines the complexity of the requirements for the rest of the process. Let's take a closer look. Device classification depends on 18 rules outlined in Annex 9 of the Medical Device Directive. There is also a guidance document which specifically covers product classification. It provides detailed explanations of each class and examples of how intended use, duration, level of invasiveness, and area of effect are calculated. It's an invaluable tool that should not be overlooked. Medical devices are classified based on the level of risk the device presents to the human body. This is determined by examining several criteria, primarily the duration of contact with the body, degree of invasiveness, and local versus systemic effect. The EU divides medical devices into different categories, including Class 1 non-sterile non-measuring, Class 1 sterile and measuring, Class 2A, 2B, and Class 3 devices. Similar to medical devices in other regions, the higher the risk, the higher the device classification. The higher the classification, the more stringent the regulatory requirements. Unlike other regions, Europe does not use existing devices as a basis for classification. Class 1 devices represent the lowest level of risk as they're not complicated to operate, nor do they pose great risk to patients. All non-invasive devices are Class 1, unless otherwise stated in the Medical Device Directive. Examples of Class 1 non-sterile non-measuring devices include a scalpel, eyeglasses, and a stethoscope. Example of Class 1 sterile measuring devices include island dressing, examination gloves, and a thermometer. Class 2A devices represent a higher amount of risk. Examples include infusion pump tubes, topical adhesives, and muscle stimulators. Class 2B devices represent an even higher amount of risk. Examples include insulin pens, laser scalpels, and dialysis machines. Last is Class 3, the highest risk devices. Examples include a pacemaker, heart valve, or breast implants. This module covered key topics including how Annex 9 is used in determining device classification, how risk is based on criteria such as the duration of contact with the body and degree of invasiveness. We also learned that the level of risk is proportionate to the level of regulatory oversight. The next section delves a little deeper into quality management compliance. 